Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of virtualization, the network that we have created. We will talk about network isolation. Okay, we will explore how to keep a vulnerable machine that is meta exploitable in our case uh, and Ubuntu safe from external threats right within VirtualBox. Okay, so before we dive into the settings, let's understand why isolation is crucial. Just like in the real world, for example, where we lock our doors to keep intruders out, we need to protect our virtual machines from unauthorized accesses as well. Okay, so leaving vulnerable machines exposed to the internet can lead to exploitations by attackers, compromising not only the virtual machines, but potentially the entire network. So virtual books offer several network nodes. But for today's video, we will focus on host only adopter mode. Okay, so this mode actually creates a private network between the host and the virtual machines ensuring they are shielded from the external access okay so without wasting our time let's jump into the into the topic okay so <clears throat> let's open this oracle virtual box okay now virtual box is up what i am supposed to do now for example i need to click this tools tab and i need to check for example if there is host only net ethernet adapter here okay or it's not if it's not then you are required to create another network okay so this host network will ensure that your machines are connected to uh, to this host for example on host only ethernet adapter now this is one thing second thing is net network because you want kali for example to access the internet so on kali because i will be doing all these exercises for example we need to have a net network Okay, Kali is open to internet. For example, from internet access, I can access it. But from other machines like Ubuntu and Meta Exploitable, I don't want to, uh, you know, expose them to the internet. So they are isolated. Now here on the net network, for example, here you can see here the IP addresses. So 10.0.2.0/24. This is the IPv prefix, for example, which is being used and it's net network okay so and enable dhcp is also so the machine that will be connected on this net network for example will automatically get the ip address from this pool for host only here you see because meta exploitable and ubuntu they will be connected to host only what i'm doing is i'm enabling a dhcp server so here i'm clicking this configure adapter automatically using dhcp server and under dhcp server I am saying, for example, your IP addresses, the server's IP address is 192.168.54.2. And I'm saying the server to assign from 354.3 to 54.254, for example, uh, hosts. So you will see IP addresses of Meta exploitable. Here we have only two virtual machines. So it will be either three or four or five or six or seven, for example. So and in the last octet, it will be from 3 to 254 pool, the IP address pool, right? So we are all set now. Let's check the configuration of Kali now. In Kali, you should be able to see two network adapters. If I click this network, I see net network, which is fine because I need to access the internet. Another is host only adapter. So these two adapters are working, which is perfectly fine. Now, this adapter, this creation of this adapter will ensure that uh, uh, Kali is connected to other machines as well. Okay, so Kali is set for Meta Exploitable and Ubuntu. There should be only one adapter enabled that is host only. So you see, all are not attached, only this adapter is attached, which is on host only, which is perfectly fine. For Ubuntu as well, we need to verify if it has only host only adapter enabled. Yes, so. Now, let's uh, turn all these uh, machines on and see them in action, okay? So, okay, okay, they are running, starting, running, 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 just uh, within seconds, they are coming up, okay? So, here we have Ubuntu. 
Then we have Kali. Kali is here. Okay. And we should have meta exploitable as well here. Okay, so they all are booting up. We need to wait a bit. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Yeah, so for meta exploitable because it's really quick and it's uh, very light actually. So it came up very early. We need to enter the username and password, which is MSF admin and MSF admin. Okay. So here now the very first thing that I do, I check IP address IP config, IF config. And here you see the IP assigned by the DHCP server 192.168.54.4. Okay. So meta exploitable is fine. It's up, it's running. For Ubuntu, we have uh, OS boxes as the password okay os boxes.org same as the username okay so let's see when it boots up yeah and here for kali we have kali and kali all smaller okay so here now i go to terminal on ubuntu and on ubuntu i check ip address and show so it will uh, give me back the IP address. Here you see 192.168.54.3 slash 24. So this is the IP address automatically assigned to Ubuntu by DHCP server. Now on Kali, for example, we have to open this terminal and in terminal IF config again. And I see here two network cards. One network card has IP address of dot fifteen from 10. Okay, 10 network, 10.0.2.15. And you you know that this is this uh, IP address is taken from uh, NET network. Okay. And for uh, uh, host only adopter, its uh, IP address is 192.168.54.5. Okay. So now we are all set. The, the, now the point is to check this connectivity if they are connected. Okay. So I am, what I'm doing is ping um, 192. Dot 168.54.4, which is the IP address of, if you could see here, IP address of this uh, meta exploitable. Okay. So if if I get the reply, it means I'm connected to meta exploitable, which is fine. Okay. Great. And same for Ubuntu as well. If I remember the IP, it was like 3. Okay. 54.3. Yes, so it should be pingable as well, which is which is fine. So Kali can access both these two machines. They are uh, Kali is connected to these two machines. Now let's check, for example, if Kali is connected to Google or uh, internet as well. Ping www.google.com. Yes, it's connected. Okay, fine. What about Ubuntu, for example? If we can ping uh, uh, 192.168.54.3, for example. This is the DHCP server. Okay, here, what was the IP address of, um, of Kali? Just uh, a second. Yes, it was 5, yeah. So, it's 3. Let's check 5. 3 was actually the IP address of the, of the DHCP server. Okay, so... I'm getting uh, replies from five as well, so it means basically we are connected. Now the now the main point is we need to check from Ubuntu whether we can access the internet or we are we can we could be accessed by the internet. So here ping www.google.com network is not connected, right? Or if I could ping the other interface of uh, of uh, Kali, which is uh, net network. I should not be able to ping it, which actually means that this Ubuntu and Meta Exploitable, they both are isolated from the network. So they cannot access internet or someone else from outside cannot access them. Good. We are fine. Don't hesitate to ask me any question if you have. Okay. So, okay, just to summarize, network isolation is a fundamental step in securing your environment. Okay. So by configuring this uh, virtual box network setting and leveraging DHCP, 
we have actually ensured that our vulnerable machines are protected from external threats. Okay. So, similar practices in the setup are extremely important to safeguard your virtual machines and data. Thank you for, uh, for tuning in. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Okay. Stay secure and see you in the next class, next video. Bye for now.